packing a sewing machine for an airplane carry-on. Hello. So what we're doing here is we've made ourselves a carry-on case for sewing machine. And the sewing machine we're going to take on is a Bernina Activa 230. It's the three-quarter size machine, a large machine you can't ever get to fit inside a carry-on size suitcase. But what we bought here is a carry-on size hard shell suitcase from Walmart. It costs about 40 bucks. The company's name is Passport. We've taken that, this hard shell case, and we've modified it a little. So inside there was a divider between the two pieces. We cut that out. So we had the full size of the opening of the interior of the suitcase. And because it's wheeled, which you want, because you're going to be carrying it through an airport, it has a handle. And that handle is going to have two bars inside. We've already modified it a little. But there's two bars that are inside the case where that handle sits. You have to kind of watch where those are because your you want your sewing machine not to be impacted by those handles. handles. So on one side, underneath this cloth, there was a zipper in here. We have glued in some, some hard, um, harder foam, denser foam. This is basically an exercise mat we cut up. And then, and that's all on one side of one of those bars that's inside for this handle. And then over that, we've glued some softer foam, stuff we bought at Walmart, kind of a two inch thick, uh, 16 by 16 inch square. And then at the, what's gonna be the bottom and on the side, we've also glued in some of this denser foam. So we take the sewing machine, it's again Bernina Activa 230, we take off that accessories case that's on the back here, and we, we wanna set this thing in. I'm gonna set this thing in, and it fits to where the main part of the sewing machine, this is the heaviest piece, sits on the side of one of those bars. So it's not resting on one of those bars in the sewing machine, it's actually resting on that denser um, denser foam that we put underneath the fabric. So then there's some foam here on the side and there's some foam at the bottom. We want to slide this thing down to be against that foam because that's really going to be the bottom um, when you've got this thing put together and standing up. Next we're going to take uh, some more foam. Here's a piece we've just simply folded in half and glued. We're going to slide that under the arm. So again it's more protected on that side. And then we've got some uh, other pieces. So we've taken the foot pedal here, we've wrapped it, we'll probably eventually approve this, we we'll probably sew some sort of bag for it. We've got some other foam here. So um, we can take this piece here, we can put more accessories inside and we can fill in some of these openings. Again, there's, a, there's an opening here, you can put some accessories in there as well. And then we've got a piece for the top. The top doesn't get too much impact because it'll be standing up most of the time but we have a piece that's been fit to be on the top. And then we close this whole thing. Here, we have a piece, it's not glued in, um, but it, it covers the whole area here, and that's what we're gonna close this thing with. So we slide this whole thing together, and we zip it up. If the zippers, if the zippers catch, don't go smoothly, I'll just go back over that. If you feel it kind of kink on something, go back over that to make sure those teeth really interlock well on any of those zippers. And then, because it has an opening on this side where that foam was, you can actually put a few more things. So here's the, this little sewing table piece that can fit in here, this, the Bernina book. There's some other little pockets here you can put stuff in that was just part of it as well. And so again, you can fit a few more things in. Oh, one more thing I forgot, oops, is you can also fit the, that knee controller in as well, um, inside as well. So, when you're done, it's, it's, com cover it's completely protected with foam inside a hard shell case. The size is right for, for a carry-on on a airplane so that you won't have to check it. And again, it's, it's wheeled so you can roll it around and you won't have to be carrying that thing the whole time. And this thing's already flown internationally and done wonderfully every time.